Um, today we'll be talking about grid layouts. Um, I think the class before now, you guys discussed um, how to deal with flex and um, the shame and stuff. Give me a minute to create a folder. We'll be working with. So we'll just call it um big um, notes. Okay. And then um, to just make it simple we will um we we'll just work with um colors, yes, and see how grid works. Um, for simplicity's sake, I will just do the styling in the body as well. So, um, say we have a main tag, um, this main tag grabs the guy who want to implement some grid in it. Um, I'll do a bit of comparison. Um, maybe um, we can come to the side of which you do. Let's call this guy, give it the glass of rapper. Um, and we have several leaves. Yeah, let's let's make let, let me add one more. Let's call this one. See Um So um within this place we'll do the styling, but first of um let's do a quick style. So um I'll wrap up there. I'm sorry I should have made this dummy right then before the
I'm not sure I have life saver, so I'm just going to get it for me. Okay. Um, so at the moment, um, all items are. Let me. Okay. Let me just maintain them. So all items are stacked on each other. And um, to start, the drip C is play. I'm giving the. the, the the main guy that wraps it. So um see so yeah, I'll create I'll create some more content to show you say for instance if you have more grid items in another grid items that are nested. So we'll talk about that. So for this let's start with um grid. So unlike flex, say if we give this flex and we check out the effect of flex. So I'm reflecting and I'll be refreshing my so um one thing about flex it's uh other it's the, the stacking this time around came like uh it other there from left to the right unlike the other but for grid it's it's not I say um it remains like that until we start giving each each sizes we want say for instance to give us a particular column we could use with template column yes um if you use vs code vs code is for the habit of suggesting most likely like the property you want to use css property you want to use um you can use percentage say if you want um four columns we'll do 30 percent no, let's right. say 25 percent, 25 percent, 25 percent, 25 percent. So let's see what this. So um, if you notice, we have them now. Um, in columns, you see how it's ordered now from left to right. And the twenty five percent you applied start from here, so it's taking say this is why I made it uh equally share this um our weight is hundred percent uh and due to that I want to make it four col four columns I have to divide all in four so you you will a bit of mathematical so say for instance, we intend to add an height to this you can say um read. Auto the rules you can and hundred percent. Let's see what we have. Yep. So um if you see what we added, we wanted to increase the height of uh of our row. And for that reason we added made it hundred percent. But say for instance, okay. Um, before I proceed, uh, there's a better way to make this. Uh, let's give this grid uh, a gap. We can do that with um, the grid gap property. Um, yeah. We'll give it, say, foreign. Oh, that's too much. See, what we The one rem is free. Um, if you notice the gap, grid gap property has added. Um, it has uh, in a way partition uh, them and give them a boundary sort of. So it makes it quite neat. Um, again, I'm using twenty five percent. What other units can we use here? Um, aside from this, I'll just comment it out. So for what else you want to check it out? Okay. Um, aside using percentage, there is one other feature we could use. Um, this is called fraction. You can see one FR. Um, we want three column this time around. It's one FR, one FR, one FR. 
So, um, so, um, the, the gap properties are there, uh, also the room, the room. And what the grip template colon has done for us, if you, if you notice, um, let me, let me comment on this. So, see, not quite different from others. We oh, yeah, so. so, it is, um, the grip auto rules that help us determine the height of our room. Um, I want us to check. See, um, the content in the green grip is um, be more than just green. See, let's add green mix. So, so if you notice, our content is breaking out of the grip. There is one way to avoid this, and the best way to avoid this is to use this feature. So uh, again, we are still trying to determine the height of our row, of course. And to do that, you can say min max. So what this min max is saying is, um, you're saying the minimum height of the row should start from red pixel and stretch onto whichever content the green goes so the auto here will help you predetermine the height of the con or like of the grid depending on the content in it so let's refresh you will see now all of our lower if so are like they're compacted into our grid so um all that thing can we do with grid um Okay, um, let's make this. Okay, aside from using this as well, we can, um, we can as well um, avoid this repeat, like having to repeat one FR, one FR. We can use this repeat features. So this time around, the repeat features take into values. I expect you to give it the size you want um the grid to be how many columns you want it to be say we want we want four uh this four will be taking one effort so we are saying this four column should have um equal size of one fraction so let's refresh you see that's taking effect so um Aside from this, there are quite some other interesting things we can do. But this time around, I will have to create the second wrapper. So this second wrapper will take a different features of grid with an effect, like an effect. So take this should be wrapper two. So um, under wrapper two, the one thing that makes grid quite interesting is um. If you notice, I didn't even go to one particular, see, I didn't go to red itself to adjust some features. See, um, I didn't go to red to say, let's a particular margin with this. So, one thing about grid is grid makes most of your boxes. Yes, you always want to call them box because um, it's, it's. Um, I'll, I'll give you an instance. For, a challenge for this place that shows you how to like why prints are important. So um I think challenge like this we can try it out. And if you see one thing about if you see they implemented grid in this aspect. So when we talk about nested grid, we'll talk about that aspect too. Well say for instance we have this we have this long guy here with an image and we want the longer guy for ourselves as well see we want red to stretch from this box onto this nest you can do this with um you can do this with the grid along so you, you see um 
read. So you can see you should scan it on for So feature to work. You are you are expected to target that particular property in this regard because you want this particular read to stretch to the other. Yes, this is it. So um, the in this tax here, you can you see in the way we have implemented this part with the grid column. I had it. I was searching on it before, just before the class. You can check out. Um, Okay, I think I will send it to the class and some YouTube videos as well that are quite helpful. You see, Kevin Pobo is good in explaining this, same as um, Travis T Media as well. Um, before I proceed to show you what some other things you can do with, say, align items, justify content as well, and things like that, I want to know if I am as Source it as possible if I if I'm clear as possible. If you have any question you want to ask, can you ask now? Mm. Okay, I believe I'm clear. Yeah, you're clear. Okay, okay. Um so I have another rapper too. We we'll try to give rapper too. It's clear, for me it is clear. I don't have any questions. Okay. All right. Um so we'll try to um do some other manipulations with the wrapper too as well um, before then what base color to try give me about It's fair this way. So we can identify the light. So uh, um for the wrapper two. Um so uh, so we split grid. Um, yeah, so we I've given this a grid. You can as well replicate this. Yes, this, this. This thing around the neck as B. So I can this to. Yeah, so um because I won't be needing some of this height you can say something Okay, um, Hello, sorry, please. I can't hear you. Okay, um, give me a minute. I am trying to do something. I think the best way to avoid these crashes is to move. Right? Um, so we'll just call this one 
Mm. Какой здесь месяц? Почти. Mm. This will see this thing to me. So, give me a minute now to put this thing in here. So, um, we'll work with this now. So, what other thing can we do? We can, as well, see after giving it the uh, this liquid, we don't want to hide for them. We just see just five minutes and see what starts. So, mm -hmm. Now, uh, um, I'll remove um, the content we have here because it's quite well up in. Okay, um, so yeah, um, so we have this, and um, I'm trying to like, this is just five. I don't know. Um, so, um, why this is quite, it, it seems, okay, let's give it the eye to so we'll see the effect. Um, wait. So it's not quite helpful, but say we want to target, um, let's target red and give it some properties. You can see, for instance, Um, I should proceed with this, but it seems as if I'm not getting something right. So the reason why I actually I'm trying this thing out is um, I expected us to work on the project, but because we don't have I don't know if I'm going to pick this for us to try out. And if not say. Can I say, can I say, I mean, I think it's not the first. Um, so, 
So let me just let me do one more thing, and then um, I'll, we'll pick. I want us to pick, please. Can you, can anybody hear me? Can you see if I can hear me, please? Yeah. Okay. Um, So I was going to implement some stuff um, because I don't have any particular design in mind and try, trying out so it look a couple of stores that are not working out. And um, I think I already showed something about the um, which is here. So we can try as much as possible to revisit this. Um, what I was going to show us in the other Levels. Um, so why we have great column, we have um, great rows as well. So we'll see what effect this has. So, so um. In a way, green breaks out. Now, what this green is actually trying to implement is um, the, it's see very much the same as uh, the grid of the road I used to specify. So, this is telling it how much it should stretch from head to bottom, or like our column that stretches from the left hand side to the right hand side. So, uh, um, Now I'll compile most of the finished the resources I used. Then we'll pick the project. I don't know. Um, do we, all of us have like um, access to something? Are we are we signed in there? Are we logged in there? Are we registered there? Mm. No, I haven't. Okay, um, so one thing about front end code, um, front end mentor, um, just sign up with your GitHub pages, okay, your GitHub profile. They provide you several projects you can try your hands on. So, because we have treated great, um, okay, I think there's something like this we can try out with great, but this is quite complex. I, I don't want us to. Um, build almost a full website. Okay. Um, we can play around on this. This is one. It's not necessary to have to write the JavaScript for now. Um, I think there, there is more. There was. Okay, this is another. Um, this is just simply giving it the um, add column template. That's great template column. Say you can give it the 30%. And you have these grids. Same thing here. So um this yeah, so this is what I'm looking for. So I don't know if I don't know with the little we've touched in the class, you probably have have that okay, I think this guy has a dummy file. We'll just quickly go and see if um let me check the um, oh, um, yes, it Thank you. 
Pint. Yeah. So, um, so as a tax, what I want us to do, he has, he has the complete file for, he has the CSS file already done by himself in that repository. So what I want us to do is, um, I want us to um, register on front end mentor and find this project, this particular project. I also add it to the document I want to create as well. So um, I want us to try our hands on grid um, and. Say after you finish the project, you necessarily have to submit. I wanted to push it on GitHub, and yes, we will be going to Twitter itself tonight. Once after you finish the project, I mean, you have to make it as responsive as possible so that people checking out, checking it out, will be like, um, of course, enjoy the platform as well. That is, if you are, if they are on mobile. They should. I know they. You, you guys haven't touched media queries, but um, one one thing is just let's let's just get this to work. First. You guys can implement this for desktop, and at the same time share it on Twitter. Um, but let's see that as an unfinished project because it has to be really responsive. So we haven't gotten the aspect of responsiveness, but when we touch responsiveness. We can as well touch this project and make it responsive. I don't know if that's clear. Okay, I think you join us. Okay, um, anything from BP, Google Midday, Sherry, Inta. Hello. For me, I'm trying to sign up on front end masters. Nothing much for me here. Okay, okay, okay. Um, it's not it's not quite technical. Once once your guitar authorizes you to, to sign up on front end um, you're good to go. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think Sheriff uses front end mentor a lot. Okay, 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 okay. So, yeah. so please, yeah, um, you guys will have to incorporate the habit of using front end mentor. It's quite, um, it's quite helpful. You can as well submit your solutions, and I think those following up on your project can give you feedback. Now you implemented it, and maybe suggest possible ways. These are submitted projects of people. These are reactions to them. So, so, um. We can just look for projects that specify, say, newbies or um, juniors. I think some are HTML CSS alone. Um, I think as we progress into um, into the program, understanding JavaScript, and then we'll complete other projects. But for the other one, I selected the other, the other thing, which is HTML CSS. Yes, it's so um for those who haven't interacted with front end mentor what front end mentor do is front end mentor um, gives you the privilege to download the zip file that contains uh images images that tell you what should be the end product when you finish writing your code and at the same time it gives you this these items, it gives you the assets, it gives you, say, the images, it tells you the styling, the style of the MD. So, and it also gives you the content in those stuff. I think in the index of HTML. Yeah, I think. So, um, I wish I can display all of them, but I not love them. I'm not sure I love them. So what's following me? Um, what's up? Are you successfully registered? 
Chase is chasing me. Okay, Sheriff, um, I think we should proceed from the group. If you have any issues um, following up with front end mentor, you can, you can tag me on the WhatsApp group and I'll try as much as possible to be there. And I'll leave you that in the class as well. And um, I will also be sharing um, I'll be pushing our code to GitHub, but before then, I'll share the materials I used and the YouTube videos as well. Thank you very much for all coming around. All right, thanks, thanks, thanks for that session. Um, it was, it was insightful. Um, does anyone have any question? Is there any question? Okay. Okay, but you, you gave us you, you gave us um front end mentors to um have a look at right? Like, is it. Did you, did you give an exercise in front end mentors? Yes, 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 I did. Okay, um maybe you can drop the link. Can you drop the link in the group and like direct them to also direct them to the exercise. Mm -hmm. Then also there's this there's this um there's this um application called in css i think it's css gardens was it css Gardens? No, was it, i think was it i'm waiting the actual name but it's like flexbox or foggy uh, i think it was css grid gardens or something like that um it's used for learning css so, so it's used for learning grid like it helps you like level up in grid in less than a day All right it's just like flexbox foggy i've, I've just forgot forgotten the url where i will share it and we have the link in our blockchain um materials on github so yeah i'll share it soon all right um thanks for coming guys really appreciate it hope to see you guys next saturday and um your grid challenge please we want you to win anytime you are anytime you do your when you are done with your challenge please put it on the group and also share yeah okay, all right i'm coming on in the please when you are done with your challenge please post it on the group and also share it on on, on um, twitter because so I will help you with it, 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 so it will have visibility, right? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks for coming. Yeah. Yeah, Olympia, you're about to say something. Um, Olympia, did you want to say something? I'm trying to locate the particular task. Okay. Yes. I'm actually trying to locate the the task that he asks us to do, so I don't know if you can share the link on WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah. I've been able to sign into front end masters. Alright, so I've told you to share it. Share it. Share it thanks, thanks. Alright, have a nice day everyone. Um yeah, thanks, thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much, sir.